sorry guys um i promised to make another video using hand creaming method and here it is in the other video i used mixer but this time around i'm not going to be using mixer this first one is okay so in place of mixer i'm going to use either this you can use either your spatula as a gary toner or you can use your water pistol and i know that you have seen a lot of my videos using the water pistol so we are going to set to work a very vanilla recipe cake the special kind of so let's get to work please bring in the camera on this now this is my two cups of flour 250 gram and i use this cup to measure it so in this i'm going to take out my one tablespoon level flour out and i replace it with one tablespoon level corn flour Alright, and at this point, I add in my baking powder, one teaspoon there, baking powder. Okay, so I'm going to cover this and set aside. Okay, in the other video, I used liquid meal. This very one, I'm going to be using my powdered milk. So, I'm going to put powdered milk and my sugar into this water and this is what i do this is my sugar measurement a cup of it you can use 170 grams if you don't want too much sugar cake so i'm going to take this one two into the water give it a minute. And I'll also add powdered meal. One. Okay. All right. So I did my powdered meal and spray. I'm going to also set this aside. So for this 250 grams cake recipe i'm going to use my 250 gram butter and i kind of um i'm a fan of um napa i think napa should make me their brand ambassador here napa do you see this always using your products and i'm advertising it to my students for free so i think you should make me your brand ambassador <laughs> okay come down to work Alright, okay, Napa, I do really mean this. You should make me the brand ambassador. Ah, so I'm trying to ascertain which one should I use? Should I use this part or should I use this? Oh, my hand is so used to this. So I'm going to use to quickly free my water. Okay, with this, I'll always have my scraper set aside. So I can scrape my work when we turn it around. Okay, just scraping in a easy mixture. You can see how fluffy the butter is now. So I'm going to drop in my sugar. You can add the sugar a bit at a time. But I'm going to be doing that. Now, watch the technique I'm using to cream this at this stage. This is it. I just keep turning it at this angle before I turn the bowl. So, it makes the creaming easier. Instead of having to turn 300 and no, that's more stressful. So, I. Alright, 
my eggs. This is five eggs, two fifty grams. So in my other video, I didn't whisk the egg, but in this very one, I choose to whisk. So, Okay, now this is it. My mixture is set. So at this point, I'm going to be using my spatula, my Gary toner, my floor. So I'm still in the floor. Okay. So I'm going to fold. Remember, any recipe that calls for folding, please make sure you fold. And I'm using this point to cut my folding. I'm not just stressing the recipe. Please, always remember that. Don't stress the butter the moment you, add, you start adding the flour. Don't stress the butter. Okay, um, don't forget, at this point, I'm going to incorporate my flour with the milk. So, this milk will go in the same number I'm going to be adding my flour. So, just keep going. Okay, now I'll save in my second batch of flour. My second cup of flour is set. I'll just save this in again. Okay, done. Okay, so I'll just keep folding it again. Bye. 
achieve the desired result, you don't overwork this batter. If you overwork this batter, you may not have a positive result and respect it. So, stretching now to ensure that everything incorporates. I need to give it a good stretch. One more gentle fold. This is my vanilla cake recipe and mix this set. Alright, this is my already greased and lined pan, which I'm regreasing again so I can dust. Okay, my one tablespoon of flour, I pour it into the pan and just keep dusting the pan. Pour out the dust. Okay. Now I'm going to share this butter into two. That means I'll be baking in two sharing. trying to ensure that I won't have too much pump in my cake so that's why I spread this a little out and um, here I'll give this a little time to remove air bubbles it has sit back so I'm going to spread it out a little more you can now you can see the cake batter is almost half of the pan, so I'm going to put it now and steam back. And I place in my pan of cake. I cover it. Don't mind my pot, this pot has really served me. Okay, so that's okay. I'm going to use it. Okay, the cake is not very done. You can still see the sticky there, so I'm going to cover it up. And this cake, I set a lamp to 35 minutes. The alarm is not yet on, that's why it's there. All right, now in case you feel your cake is not going to come out, we'll give it a See how fresh it looks. So the parchment paper. Now this is our. This is it. My second batch of cake flour, and in this batch, I'm gonna be twisting it a little bit with my fruit. I love carrot fruit, so just gonna be twisting it a little. Okay, with my carrot and raisins, I'll top in more cake butter, finish the rinse, if you can let someone see what I'm doing. Let's see, Okay, 
if you want to join my video, okay, come and say hi to everyone. Say hi. Hi. This is my cinematographer, the one that has been making the more video for me. There she is, Vanessa in the house. <laughs> Bring it down, bring it in here now. So I'm going to top my second batch of the raisins and the fruits. batch of my cake and it is my twisted carrot cake so here are my cakes so great and twisted all right this is it my cake 